Thanks for tuning in with me today. And today I'm going to show you some stuff I have. So. First. So this is a witch kit. Tash care. So. First off. We have. This little card here. Down to move the vines or stuff. It has directions, sort of charging my songs. And this is chocolate therapy. And on the back it has what they all do. Oh, and I also have a sea glass. This doesn't come with it. I just wanted to show you. And then you get some roses, dried roses, don't mind if I do this, I just have a highlight, you get part of an amethyst geode, pretty, and you also get a pendulum, You're supposed to hold it by this. This is a rose quartz. Um, I'll show you something to do with this after. And then you have a whole bunch of things. Alright, so I'll show you. So this is clear quartz. This is Amazonite. This is Obsidian. This is Pyrite, as you can see. I like it how it's like blue and then turns into gold. It's not really gold. People call it fool's gold. And then you have Lapis Lazuli. And then, yeah, you have Red Jasper. You have citrine. You have, I thought this was tourmaline, but you have tiger's eye. You have rose quartz. You have amethyst. You have halite. You have red adventurine. You have Appetite. That's literally what it's called. And you have fluorite. So, clear quartz is your crown chakra. Clear quartz is supposed to awaken your spiritual, spirit, I can't pronounce it, spirituality. And so does purple. So. Amethyst is your third eye chakra. It also is spiritually. Spirituality. And oh, I forgot how. This is how light it. Oh, it also is your crown chakra and it opens spirituality and then you have indigo I'm dumb I was gonna say this is indigo in there and I don't know it's lapis lazuli and it's your third eye chakra it's yeah it's awareness oh i'm done the 
clear quartz and halite are your crown chakra. They open your crown chakra. They open your spirituality. Um, amethyst and rose quartz are your third eye chakra. They open awareness. I'm so confused. Let's just take a look. I'll go through time for you. I am just so confused. On the back of crunch. Pause if you need to. Alright, there. So I love everything. And for the pendulum, yes, for the pendulum, what we do is my mom taught me this game. She used her mom taught her as a kid. And it actually works. Like, I tried it. Alright. So, take the pendulum, hold it by the clear ball part, and do not touch the chain. So, there's this one game where you can take a piece of paper and write yes, yes. So, yes, yes, no, no. Ask it a question, and it should give you an answer, like yes or no. But it has to be a yes or no answer. I mean, question. So, you take this, take your hand like that, and then do one, two, three, and then hold it. And if it goes in a circle, it's a girl. If it goes back and forth, it's a boy. So, I kept on getting just one child and one boy. And, um, so, yep, that's a boy. So, one, two, three. Three. I'm only getting one child, it shouldn't stop. I'm only getting one child, and that's a boy. So this is like, so, and if, like, you're supposed to do it multiple times, and once it stops, um, that's how much children you have so however many times you do it and then when it stops that's how much children well you'll have or you had my mom tried my after my mom was born she said she tried it with her mom with i think a pendulum or a necklace and her mom got two girls which actually she had two girls my mom and my mom's twin sister and then, um, my dad tried it, it was a boy and a girl, me and my brother, and my mom tried it, it was a boy and a girl, me and my brother. So it actually works. My brother, he's mad, but he has two girls and one boy. But, yeah. He's gonna be upset when he grows up. But, um, I think that's it. So, oh, and you also get this bracelet. It's sort of like feng shui, except not. It's red, orange, brown, green, blue, indigo, and purple. It represents all the gems, and then the rest are just like black. I believe it's going to separate black and the colors. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you're a witch, buy my witches and or if you're and if you're not a witch, bye guys.